This is Maui and Trizzy having some downtime at the beautiful resort of Miramegmeg Beach Club in El Nido. We both agreed that this was the best way to conclude our last two nights on our week-long trip. To start our stay, we got dropped off by the tricycles, walked through a plaza where we later went for dinner, dessert, and a massage. Our luggage struggled through the sand in order for us to get to the lobby. At this point, we realized that the tricycles dropped us off at the wrong spot. Getting into some soft sand here. Yeah. Let's go. This is my workout. Negative two stars. <laughs> Luckily, the plaza and the resort were next to each other. Kuyas helped us with our baggage as we were greeted with a vibrant butterfly pea flower lemonade. The open air lobby and the infinity pool next to it left us in awe. With the humidity on high, we couldn't wait to jump in the pool. The room we checked into was the highest and most centered room of the resort. Not sure what we did to deserve that, but we loved it. The room was spacious with high ceilings, a massive covered balcony overlooking the pool and beach, a lush shower, and a goodie bag filled with necessities like bug spray, sanitizer, and a mask. For all you coffee lovers, you'll appreciate the Nespresso machine in the room. You can enjoy your coffee or tea on the balcony like what we did every sunrise and sunset. The views were breathtaking and we couldn't get enough of it. Sunset was on our side and the sky just gleamed purple and orange. Mayor Meg Meg has a grand modern touch to its interior while the exterior is surrounded with trees, plants, and rocks. Unfortunately, it is not friendly to those with disabilities because there are no elevators on the property. It was a trek each time we went back to the room and for the Kuyas who had to carry our luggage up and down the flight of stairs. But we can't recommend this property enough. During our time there at the end of August, the rooms were about $280 USD per night. Inclusions were complimentary breakfast buffet, Wi-Fi, pool, and a stand-up paddleboard and kayak rentals. This is Trizzy's opinion. The way Mira Megma cooked the bacon was gold. Best bacon ever. And that's how everybody should be making the bacon. Everybody. Holiday ends, let kids up. Everybody. The rest of the buffet spread satisfied the sweet and savory palate of ours with the chocolate fondue station that had an array of candies, pastries, and fruits, waffles and pancake section, traditional Filipino breakfast like garlic rice, beef steak, and egg. a juice dispenser that changes its juice daily, and a salad bar where you could customize your morning vegetables. During the day, it was a routine of paddle boarding, hitting the pool, eating, relaxing on the beach. The stand-up paddle boards were easy to rent. You just ask for a paddle board and they'll have it ready for you with no specific time limit. The 
The beach had shallow waters with no waves and soft sand. Also, next to Mirror Meg Meg Beach was Vanilla Beach. When we used the lengthy infinity pool on the property, we practically had it to ourselves. Rain or shine, we were in the pool no matter what. You'll notice the Mirror Meg Meg tree right on the beach in front of the property. It's 100 years old, so it's very fragile. You're not allowed to sit, climb, or lean on it. Around the resort are restaurants within walking distance along the beach. We ate lunch at the beach shack, where we got rained on, but got to enjoy a crunchy lechon kawale and chicken inasal. Next to the property's pool was the Mirror Meg Meg Beach Bar, where we went for some snacks and refreshments during the day. Check out this cute wooden swing seating that faces the ocean. At night, we had a few mocktails and spent our last dinner here ordering sizzling tofu, fried chicken sandwich, and a mango sticky rice. It's open to the public and is one of the best places to watch the sunset while having drinks if you're in the area. If you remember us mentioning the plaza at the beginning of the video, it's a plaza with several stores, small restaurants, a spa, even a gym. We checked out the McDonald's here to get some fried chicken and rice, and to see what other unique items were available. A few stores down was where we got some dessert at the Lazy Hammock Cafe. It was such a cute spot. The aesthetic matched the name with hammock-like seating. Not too much of a workspace, but definitely come to drink some coffee, tea, or even have a crepe. There was a massage place in the same plaza where we went to untangle all the knots that came with traveling. Heading back to the Leo airport, the hotel arranged an airport drop-off that was an additional 1,200 pesos, which is around $22. It's a 20-minute drive in a comfortable shuttle van. We will miss all the cute dogs roaming wildly around El Nido. Cheers to Mara Meg Meg Beach Club for an unforgettable stay. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and get notified for our future adventures around the globe.